welcome to Fabulosity for you. And my name is Angie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click the subscribe bell, then click the notification bell. So when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. Like this video and make a comment. This channel is about fashion, relationship advice, and lifestyle. And if this is not your first time visiting my channel, well, welcome back, my queens. And welcome to the kings out there. And welcome to all of my new subs. And welcome to all of my subs that have been with me since day one. I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. So today is Ratchet Wednesday. Today is Ratchet Wednesday. And today I will be doing the review of the 90 Day, The Single Life, Season 4, Episode 13, Part 2 of The Tale All. But before I begin, I want to just say this. Go get your snack of choice. Go get your drink of choice. And come back and sit with your girl, Angie. Text. Email. Call. Stick a letter in the bottle, baby. And let everybody know that Angie is on the line. So we are going to get right into it. We're going to pick up from last week. Now, last week, Chantel was in the hot seat. And it ended on Miss Debbie trying to gather her up <laughs> and let Chantel know that she does not have to announce to the world that she is not wearing any panties. So we're going to go ahead on and continue. Chantel is still in the hot seat, honey. And Mrs. Debbie tells Chantel she is saying that you're not a piece of meat. And Chantel is saying that she is desirable, that she feels like she can dress any way she wants to dress. That she knows that going to a bar, she was not going to meet her Mr. Right. But she was just wanting to have a good time. So, Miss Debbie is going on saying she's better than that. And in the, in the wings, behind the curtain, was Chantel's mom. And Chantel's mom, oh my God, she had on this gold jumpsuit with some silver shoes some blonde hair and honey it looked like it looked like Chantel's mother Karen had got some new breasts I mean her breasts were sitting up here on her neck honey all her boobs were out and she's saying in the back I can't wait to can I get come out because I can't wait to tell Miss Debbie Miss Debbie needs to um she needs not to talk to Chantel like that. If she don't like it, then she shouldn't watch it. And she said, and if she want to wear her granny panties, that's on her. So the host finally calls out Chantel's mom, Karen. And she comes out and she gives her daughter a hug. And her daughter pops her on her butt and she's Pumping it, pumping her butt out, twerking a little bit. And I just feel like Kira was out of place. I'm sorry. She is the mother. She should not have been in a bodysuit like that with her boobs all in the air. And I'm sorry. It was just too much for somebody's mother. Chantel is, is the younger woman. You have to pass that torch down to your brother, she, down to your daughter she had no business coming out looking the way she looked she looked just like a floozy and i'm not saying that Cameron didn't look good i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying for somebody's mother she was just doing too much on tv that's something she should have been going somewhere with her husband with if that's what she wanted to do but coming out on tv trying to be bopsy twins with her daughter I'm sorry, Miss Cameron. You played out on that note. Okay. You way looking, you're not looking your, not to say she has to look her age, but she just didn't, it was not classy. She didn't look classy. 
And so, Miss Debbie says that, well, Chantel says that this is her life and she's going to live her life. And this is, this is just me, is what Chantel said. And Miss Debbie is saying, you're more than that. So, um, Karen says to Miss Debbie that everything that Chantel went through was necessary. And so Miss Debbie was saying, we want to protect our daughters and protect them from further hurt. And Karen was, Karen was saying, well, we are beautiful and we love our bodies. And if we want to walk around with no clothes on, we can do that because that's, that's how we feel and we are entitled to do whatever we want to do. And just because we do that does not mean that we're not smart and we're not any of that. It just means that we like to be sexy and there's nothing wrong with that. And so Chantel says she was having fun and that's it. And so they show how Chantel found Yanni, Yannis, and they show the moments of them kissing. And even Chantel kind of was felt embarrassed and was like, I'm sorry, guys. And... It showed her in the bars when she first got to Greece and how she was just kissing strangers and all of the things. And Miss Debbie is like, Miss Debbie is like, Chantel, you don't have to do all of that. And so Chantel was like, they asked Chantel, what well, did Yanni, Yanni's, did he, Sit up and check all the boxes of what she's looking for in a man. And she was like, well, just about all of them. He's sweet. He's nice. He has curly hair. He has dreamy eyes. He has, oh my God, the washboard stomach. And they said, well, did he have a big package? And she said, well, I didn't get a chance to touch it. But from what I can feel a little bit, <laughs> yeah. And so... Miss Debbie was like, she said, Chantel, you should be looking at how somebody treats you. You should be looking at how somebody talks to you, his intellect, not his big package. And so Veronica chips in, chimes in and says, well, you know, that's just... If he has all of that, then she, that's going to draw him into her. And then she can get the chance to know the guy. And Miss Debbie was like, Veronica, you've been in the same situation. And she said, you don't have a man, do you? <laughs> and so Veronica had to laugh herself because Miss Debbie was throwing some shade, honey. And so... Miss Debbie was saying to Chantel's mother, how did you feel about how your daughter was acting? Don't you think her friends was riling her up and, and, and to do the wrong things? And so Lynn, Karen was like, yeah, I will agree. That's why I wanted to go to Greece with her, but I didn't go. But the next time you go somewhere, Chantel, she said, I'm going to be there. No, I, I don't like the way she was acting. And Miss Debbie was like, that's all I'm trying to say. She is better than that. And if you don't want to keep making the same mistakes, then you have to look for something different, Chantel. So then they start, they bought on Giannis. And... He was in Greece in, at his home and Chantel was like, do you see me? And he was like, of course, you brighten up a room. And so they asked, they asked Chantel's mother, Karen, do you have any, she, well, they asked Chantel to introduce Yannis to her mother. And once she did that, the 
that the the host said, Karen, do you have any questions for Giannis? I know you had a problem with you told Chantel not to bring anybody home that needs a visa. And so she was like, oh yeah. She said, first of all, do you have any siblings? So he said, yes, I have two, two brothers and I have a sister. And so she was like, well, how old is your sister? And she said, she's 31 years old. Well, does she get along with your girlfriends? Has she gotten along with your girlfriends? So Chantel was shutting him. Chantel shut her mom, mother down. She was like, listen, this is new. You don't need to say anything to him. And so then she goes, well, uh, do you plan to visit Chantel? He said, yes, I do. And so she said, well, I'm just telling you this. If you come over to the United States, you need to be responsible for, get, for your own visa. She's not going to put any money into that. And he was like, well, no, I wouldn't expect her to do that. I would pay my own way so she was like okay and what do you do over there and you play football and he laughed and he was like yes i do and she was like well does that take up a lot of your time and he was like it does take up a lot of my time and that's why i haven't had a chance to see chantelle i really think that it would be best if Chantel comes to see me so oh my god everybody on stage was like oh no you told Chantel you was man enough to come see her first and then she'll come see you and and Chantel was like right I mean what's up with that when are you planning on coming and he said I can't promise you anything right now but I do plan on coming and whenever I do say I'm coming believe me take my word I'm going to be there I'm not somebody that backs down off my word. So they was like, I think it was Tim that said, well, do you need a passport to come, a visa to come to the United States to visit? And he said, I believe so. And so they were like, Miss Debbie was like, so you, you have did zero groundwork. You have put up zero efforts. She was like, Chantel, he has not even bothered to see what he needs to do to come visit you. And so Chantel was like, well, you know, d don't jump on them. This is, this is very new. And so she said, do you really plan on visiting me? And he said, yes. So then they show Chantel, the, the host says, Giannis, this, I bet you it's something that Chantel didn't tell you. And he was like, what? That on this trip, she was thinking about her ex-husband, Pedro. And it shows Chantel went on went on a motorcycle ride with this guy. She kissed him, and then when he left, every all her friends were cheering her on. And then she was like, "No, no, he reminds me of Pedro. This is what happened with me and Pedro. I got on the ride with him, and and it showed her breaking down, crying. And w while they were showing the scenes, Chantel had tears going down her eyes." Oh my God, she was crying and Yannis was looking at her and he had to just put his head down and he felt really bad. And Chantel just jumped up and said, I can't do this and ran off stage. So she's back there saying, I I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I just, I just, just, I'm crying. So her mother goes out there behind the stage, behind the curtains and talks with Chantel. And Chantel was just saying, I, 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 I want to, I want to find love. I want to believe that somebody I can love again and somebody will love me. And I just saw, I am so embarrassed that I cried. And her mother was like, it's okay, Chantel. It's okay to cry. But what does that mean? She said, it means that you're healing. That's what that means. It means that you're healing. She said, just watching myself made me cry and she said and that just took you backwards so it's normal to do this so it's okay so she came back on stage now before she came back on stage yannis is talking to the host and she goes how do you feel about what you just saw and he said it makes me feel sad it makes me feel very sad and i'm really surprised because i had no idea that she was not over this man. And so he, she says, do you really think that 
she is that you should date him, that she's ready to date and ready for a one-on-one -on -one relationship and he said if i have to really be honest no she's not so then tyree jumps in and says i'm glad you said that he said let's be real is that the reason why you have not came to see Chantel? And he said, it's really not the reason, but I will say this is part of the reason because I don't want to put myself, she just got divorced and I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm with somebody that just got out of divorce and still not a hundred percent over the man. That puts me in a bad space that I really don't want to be in. And so, the host was like, I do understand that. And everybody was on his side. And Tyree said, he's a good guy. So Veronica was like, oh, wow. It sounds like he broke up with Chantel. And she's not even on stage. So Chantel comes back. And the host says to Yannis, tell Chantel what you just told me. And he said, I don't think. I, first of all, I didn't know that you still had all these feelings for your ex. Um, and I don't think that you are ready for me to, for us to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Not to you a 100%. And so she understood, she understood, but she said, but I still want to see you. Can I still see you? And he said, of course. So they were like, they were like, let's take a break after that. And they said goodbye to Yannis. And Chantel goes back and they're eating their lunch. They're sitting behind the curtain on some couches with their lunch. And Chantel asks everybody, so what happened? What happened when I walked away? And so Veronica was like, well, it's like he basically... I felt broke up with you and you weren't even on stage. And she said, really? Really? What did he say? And she said that he didn't want to be in a relationship with you because you're not 100% over your ex. And that was one of the reasons why he did not come to the United States to visit you. And she said, what? So he's trying to blame that for the reason why he hasn't come to see me. No, no. I'm not going to let him get off that easy. No. So, that's how it ended with Chantel. And then when they come back, they are dealing with Natalie. But before we go into Natalie, let's just talk about Chantel. I think it's absolutely crazy that Chantel was expecting this man to come visit her, to act like they're going to be in a relationship. That man did what she was supposed to do. Yannis, Yannis left the relationship where it was. They had an encounter. They had some kisses. He met a beautiful woman. She's going back to the United States. And that's it. That man is not thinking about having a relationship with her. And I don't even know why she was thinking about it. She's, some people, they cannot just be alone. Now, she, it, it is true. Sometimes it's good to date a lot of people so that you can get over somebody. But should she have gotten serious and said she has feelings for this man and wants him to come to the United States? And I would definitely with Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie was giving it to her straight with no chaser. Girl, you don't need to be putting your body out there, wearing skimpy clothes, kissing strangers at your divorce party. In Greece, you should have just been with your friends, having a good time, if you met somebody by chance, like you just met this guy, have a good time and come on home. Not act like he might be the one. 
But like I said last week, it's some people that just love to be in love. But when you hurt it like that, you really have to heal. You have to let your heart heal in order to move forward. Because if she crying because somebody remind her of her man, ex-man, girl, you know where near being healed. So, we're going to go on to Natalie. So, Natalie is on stage and the host is like, Natalie, how do you like L.A.? And so she was like, I really don't like L.A., it's not what I thought it was. Nothing like I thought it was. I have no friends. I have I know nobody. I can't just go and knock on the door for an interview. It's like you got to know somebody. And so um, they bring out, they call Josh. And Josh comes out. He kisses Natalie. And Natalie's like this. He kisses her. She don't move, honey. And so they was like, well, what's going on with that, Josh? Why isn't Natalie looking uh, looking at you or kissing you back? And he said, I don't know. I have not a clue because she was just with me last night. She stayed with me. And honey, my hair almost blew back when he said that because she was trying to act like they was, you know, still broke up. And so he said... So are y'all are you guys together? And he was like, I don't know what's going on with Natalie. And so they bring a surprise guest. They bring Caesar and Debbie out. Now I don't know what was the point of bringing them out. They really didn't say too much. Uh, Debbie said she still feel like Josh is 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 no good. Now Caesar did apologize for the mishap that he. And Natalie had the last time they were together. And so, Josh said that they broke up and Natalie needed help. He said she was in a car accident and then she reached out to him. Josh said, he, they asked him, is Natalie your girlfriend? And he was like, I really don't consider Natalie my girlfriend. And so Debbie was like, I know she probably still haven't been to your house. And so Natalie shook her hand and confirmed she still hadn't been to his house. So then Natalie was like, what am I to you? What are we doing? What is this? Is this, 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 this been, we was like this last year, a whole year has gone by and we moved nowhere. We're still in the same spot. And so John was like, let me ask you a question. Let me just ask you a question. Has she met your daughter? And he was like, no. And he said, well, that confirms it. He has feelings for you, but he's not going to marry you. So Debbie was like, See, he has a girlfriend. He ha he has not. You have a girlfriend, and then you sitting up dating, dating Natalie. And he said, first of all, I wouldn't even want Natalie come to my house because when Natalie gets upset, she is like, I wouldn't want her in my house. And so Natalie was like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me, Josh? And he said. Well, Natalie has a lot of things about her that needs to change in order for me to feel any other kind of way. And she was like, what is it? He said, I'm not here to bash you. I'm not here to tell your business. I'm not going to do this with you, Natalie. I just want to know. Just name something. And he said, you're jealousy. You're jealous. And then he goes into a time where she was very jealous. And then she, Natalie says that He's lying and all of the things. And so, Josh says, she's a jealous person. And it's just, she's just a lot. So, they call on Josh's friend. And Josh's friends and co-workers came out. And they said that, that Natalie was 
very needy. And so they was like, well, why would you say Natalie was needy? And then he was like, because she just is. Now I'm going to have to change something. I'm just going to say she's very passionate. Whatever Natalie wants, Natalie is just a very passionate person and just very passionate. But it's like they showed the clip where the friend was saying he's giving her money and all of this. And where is this going? And Josh, you know, they say that Josh likes to fix women and be, women, be with women and he has to help. You might as well say like Josh is like a save a hoe, but they didn't say that. And so Natalie was really offended. She was like, is this is how you talk to me? They talk about me. What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? I know nobody. I'm just a woman from Ukraine. What? I'm just, what, what are you doing? Why did they say this about me? So Chantel was like, to be honest with you, Josh, you come out a little sugar daddy, or like a little sugar daddy. I mean, you're always giving her money. You bought her a car. I mean, you're doing all of this. And that's what they were saying. You're doing all of this. You're giving her money. And he was like, well, I'm going to try to change that. I talked to her. And I told her, I cannot just, you know, I'm not your sugar daddy, you know. And so they said, well, Josh, why don't you want to be with her if you're giving her money, you're sleeping with her? And so he was just like, you know, first of all, and she was like, well, well, why am I here? Why am I here, Josh? I came for you. And so he was like, no, 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 no. You didn't come for me. Cause, because I told you, you came because you wanted a career. And I told you, if you come here, don't come for me. Don't come for me. Come for yourself. And so I never asked you to come. And so she was like, well, so Tim jumped in and said, well, he likes you. But he's sleeping with you because he, he likes you and he's sleeping with you and he's giving you money. And so she took that like, like he's paying her to sleep with him. And so she was highly insulted. That's not true. I deserve respect. I deserve respect. I don't just sleep around. I just deserve this respect. And so... Josh's other friend said that Josh is not a sugar daddy. He's just a good hearted person. He's all, you guys don't know him. He's always helping people. And so Nellie is by this time hysterical. She's crying. Then Chantel is crying. It was just a mess. And it ended just like that. But I'm just going to say this. Natalie is, is tripped out. Natalie know the deal. Natalie wants her way. She wants Josh. Josh don't want her and she knows it. So why would she call him? I know he's the only person that she has, but she should have never moved her behind down there. Okay. Especially if she was going to break up with him and all of that before he got her into an audition. Second of all, I just don't, she's not the victim. Natalie is not a victim. Natalie knew what she was getting herself into. She knew doggone well. She didn't know nobody down there. She knew she never went, could go in that man's house. She knew that he did not treat her like she was a girlfriend. The man told her, if you're coming out here, you're coming on because you want to come, not because of me. And then she dragged her mother into this. So I do not feel sorry for Natalie. The man got her an apartment. She didn't have no job. She should have been going down there looking for a job. And then after she got established by finding a job and a place, then her and her mother could go down there and live if that's what she wanted. And then she should could have saw, she would have seen that Josh is not going to change. Okay? Josh, if she can't come in his house, she is, <laughs> she's nobody important to him. Josh is on this show to, to 
showcase, hey, I have a business. He likes being on television and all of the things. So I don't feel not one bit sorry for Natalie. So that's all that happened on this episode that didn't go into anybody else. And we just have to wait what happens next week. But before I get out of here, I just want to say we have, I have a lot of videos coming out this week. Thursday, we're going to have fashion. Friday is relationship, a dear Angie. Saturday, we're going to do celebrity gossip. We're going to be talking about Diddy. Did he do it or did he not? Okay. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. A giveaway. When we reach 300 subscribers, we're at 1,231 subscribers. Once I reach 1,300 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I'm going to talk about the giveaway when we get closer to the 300, then I will be putting out the rules for the giveaway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching my channel. One, two, three.